Hey gamers, I am Cybersnack7. Hope we're all well guys, back again with another video and yet again standing in front of the NTSC Super Nintendo collection. So that can only mean one thing. I've picked myself up yet another NTSC title to add to the collection which will make it 129 titles in all. Um, it was only last week I showed you Super Torrican 2 for the Super Nintendo. Absolutely awesome game. Brilliant graphics, brilliant gameplay. Uh, but a very difficult title to find and quite an expensive title to import. But uh, yet again, as I said, thanks to Pete's Nestastic for sending me the link uh, to this game on eBay. Uh, otherwise, I'd have still been searching for it now. But um, let's move on, guys. Let's have a look at game 129. As you can see, it's still in the box. So I've took a majority of this tape off because it had this grey tape on and it must have took me about 10 minutes to take it off. So um, I'll just quickly rip the top off and then show you guys the next title to the collection. And it is packed very well as I would have expected. Right, let's have a look at this. Drop the box on the floor. Mm -hmm. Very nice indeed. Now, this game has a little story to it. Uh, because this game started life in Pete's Nestastics collection. And then it was moved on and it ended up in Retro Dave's collection. Um, so now it's been moved on again and it's in my collection. Um, now this isn't an official title. That's all I'm saying. Um, this came from a Time Walk Games which are no longer um, they're defunct basically they don't make games anymore um, I wasn't lucky enough to pick up any games from that company um, but Pete managed to pick up one that I was very envious of him having um, and they did release two versions of this uh, but uh, obviously this has been passed around and it's ended up in my collection which I'm very very happy about and uh, it's gone to a good home put it that way and it is going to be very well looked after and played and appreciated. But let's talk about the game, shall we? And it's this one. It is Star Fox 2. Uh, and it is in absolutely spanking condition. Artwork and the box itself is very, very good indeed. Great print work on there. Nice screenshots. It's very tacky. It feels so new still. Um... But, as I say, great artwork on the box. Now, as I said, there are two versions of this. Uh, there was a Doom edition, um, and there was also a normal edition, which was a grey cart. Now, the Doom edition is obviously a red cart, and that was the one I was after, which technically what they did is uh, they stripped down an original Doom cart, and then obviously put the board in and relabeled the cartridge so it was like a red cartridge instead. But uh, I've managed to snag this off Dave. Um, he was willing to part with it and I absolutely had to say yes to grab this. So let's take a look at Star Fox 2, the innards. Right, open this very, very slowly. Pop that there. Now, first things first. We have a nice poster, very small one, but still a nice dinky Star Fox 2 poster, which comes with the game. Nice print again, but that will stay within the box. And then we have the manual, which is in absolutely pristine condition, as you would expect. And it's quite colourful actually, nice colourful manual. Uh, manual should I say get it right um, you know shows you all the controls and basically some of the levels and the characters within the game as you can see so very very happy with the manual and very well made I must admit so there's the manual sorry about the glare guys and then last but not least we have the game and as I said previous um, this is the red edition, uh, the Doom edition, where they stripped down a uh, original Doom cart and then obviously popped a, a, a new label on there and also put the board for Star Fox 2 in the actual uh, cartridge. And as you can see on the back, 
It's got Time Warp Games, uh, so this is the official release from them. Um, and these were limited. Um, in the end, you had to send in your own Doom cart if you wanted to have this produced as a Doom edition because they'd actually sold out of the original batch. Uh, and then there was only the grey ones available. But me being me, I just left it too long and I never really bothered with it. And it's a shame really. But all good things come to those who wait, as I say. And eventually I've managed to get this game. So very, very happy. Absolutely immaculate condition. And well, well pleased to have this in the collection. So there, guys, is Star Fox 2. Um, obviously this game isn't a massive game. Uh, it's a very short uh, but it just gives you a glimpse of what the true sequel for the Super Nintendo would have been. So uh, there you go, guys. That's the cart. And then, yet again, as I will do, I will show you the box once again. So there you have the box. Fantastic condition. So, guys, there you go. That is Star Fox 2 uh, for the Super Nintendo. That's game 129 absolutely chuffed to bits to have that thanks to retro dave for uh sending it my way it's gone to a great home i'm really going to appreciate this and enjoy this so guys as per usual you've seen the innards you've seen the cartridge what about we take a look at the actual game itself so i'm going to leave it here guys and let you enjoy a bit of the game footage so as always guys i am cyber snake 7 keep playing keep watching and enjoy the footage all the best. Okie dokie guys, this is the one and only Star Fox 2. So, this is the first time for me playing it. So, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Uh, so, it'd be interesting to see how the true sequel would have looked like and how it would have played. So far, not too bad. Still following the same format. We have a couple of new characters to the selection. Interesting. Let's see what happens in mission. Just normal. Now, it looks pretty similar in the format of all the original, um, so how this is going to play I don't know, but we shall see. same but there's bases and there's like motherships and there's missiles heading towards your home planet and you have got to stop them getting there and we have which is pretty impressive we can select all the characters two new characters Miyu and Fai good old Slippy Peppy Falco and the one and only Fox but for this one, I'm going for Falco because I always wanted to play as Falco. Now for a partner, it's got to be Slippy. Good luck. Right, let's see what happens. I'm not going to go through the entire game. I'm just going to go through a few levels just to see how it plays, um, and I'll probably get back to you on if I ever complete it because I know it's very short anyway but uh, I got no intention of playing it right through to the end anyway so let's go okay choose an air wing destroy it. ok 
Okay, so shall we start with this planet? Titania. You ask me, it's like um, it's a timed level, any? You've got to uh, just do the levels as, as quick as you can. So, target number one. Slightly better, obviously. It's a shame that this was never actually made because I think I'd have preferred it on the Super Nintendo the original Super Nintendo. Not that I ain't looking forward to the Wii U version. Nevertheless, it would be nice to have the full version of the game. Anyway, let's get to the title. fastest times. Well, that's in a bad idea. Obviously it's, um, it does work. Okay, let's go for this one, see what happens here. Yeah, let's go for that one. Destroy the base. Oh dear. Assuming what's going on here is you've got time attack levels and you'll technically have a time at the end of doing the game and you've basically got to beat the time see how quick you can actually go through the entire game. Right okay then so it looks like this. Uh, let's give one of these missiles. Let's see what Seems to be nothing like that we saw. Let's try that one. I'm just flying blind there, guys. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Back 
to Meteor is a something that will go there and destroy the base because they're still shooting stuff off that Meteor planet. Switch unknown. Oh, I don't know what this is. Okay, so we have to go through. As the super robot dude. Honestly, got no clue what I'm doing, but it's interesting to fly blind sometimes. I like the concept of having this instead of just a ship all the time, it does break the game. It really makes it more playable as far as I'm concerned. Little title actually. Uh, there's plenty to do on it by the sounds of things. I know, as I said previously, it's short, but I think what it's working out to be is there's a lot of little time attack modes. So I might as well go for this, have not. Let's check out this dragon dude. And then we'll then we'll call it quits. Let's take out this guy and we'll call it quits. That was rather easy to be honest. That's 
one of them in it. That's the way it goes. Anyway, guys, that's it. That is the dragon dude killed. Um, I've had a good crack on this. Uh, I will continue playing this, but I'm going to end this video here, guys, because, as I say, just a quick glimpse of what it could be. Uh, fantastic little game. Shame this game was never made into a full game because there was potential, uh, a lot of potential for this game. So, uh, right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little snippet of Star Fox 2. Um, a cracking title and it, as I said it would have been a brilliant title if it was a full game but never mind you know at the end of the day I've got a good enough version to say I can actually say that I've got an actual sequel for the Super Nintendo but uh, anyway guys thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and as always I am Snake 7 keep playing guys always keep watching all the best guys